This recipe is basically a version of the classic French steak au poivre, but with a couple of important changes to make it more suitable to restaurant service, specifically a thinner cut of meat so that it cooks faster, considerably less cognac to keep the cost down, and the use of both demi-glace and a concentrated powdered stock to provide the intense flavor that one expects in good restaurants these days. And before I get angry comments from someone, I want to mention that the use of a stock cube in this recipe came from a three Michelin starred restaurant. So to do this, we need some kind of beef um, cube. You don't want to use a cheap bullion cube. It's got to be something with some quality to it. Um, and I know this is an unorthodox method, but <laughs> it works, and we use it in restaurants all the time. Take uh, somewhere between one half and three quarters of, of one of these Galena Blanca uh, beef cubes uh, for each steak. And uh, I've also got green and black whole peppercorns that I'm going to grind by hand. You don't want to use a spice melt for this because it'll powder it. And you don't want powdered pepper in it. You want it to have some texture. So you need to hand crack it. First, I powdered that uh, stock cube. And now I'm going to add the peppercorns. A little more. And now I crack these. You don't want to don't want to pulverize them, but you don't want you don't want whole peppercorns in it either. And then you spread it out on a plate like this, and uh, we turn our attention to the meat next. In order to make this economical and also um, to make it uh, consistent, you get large pieces of meat like this, and you slice off your own steaks for this. Now I'm cutting this much thinner than most people would make um, this dish because. This is just a different version of it, that's all. Um, and this particular piece <laughs> we got here has got a chunk of fat in the middle that's not too desirable. Now, I could uh, ignore it, and, and the final dish would just have a chunk of fat in it, uh, but this is, this is a little bit heavy. So I'm going to go in here and, and try to get rid of this. And when we flatten this out, it'll, it'll be okay. It'll it'll kind of stick together. Also, we've got a band here of connective tissue. This isn't going to be too pleasant either for somebody eating it. So I'm going to go in and excise this little piece here too. Just work the knife along and scrape it off. It's pretty, comes off pretty easy. Okay, now we've got a lump of meat. <laughs> it's not very pretty in shape, but that's that's actually going to be okay for this dish because this is not a dish that's going to plate up super neatly anyway and it's going to be covered with sauce so nobody will tell. Okay, we'll see what we do next. Now I'm going to put some cling film over it and pound it gently. You don't try to smash it, it's not a nail you're driving into a board. You just want to make it nice and even and break up some of those fibers so that it's more tender. When you pull it up from the board, it regains its shape a little bit, and you're going to put it into this spice mixture here. Press down on it on one side only, because this meat is relatively thin. We're not going to we're not going to put the spices on both sides; it'll be overwhelming. We're just going to put it on this one side. It's got plenty of salt in there from that <laughs> um, stock cube, and let it sit like this. And I'm going to put some olive oil on this side. Just a little some olive oil on it. Make sure this is even. And I'm going to let this meat sit in the spices for a few minutes. Um, get it closer to room temperature. And also let the, the pan heat up. I haven't even started heating the pan yet, though. I'm just going to leave it sit like this for about 10 minutes before I even start heating the pan. <laughs> and this is the time to assemble the rest of your ingredients. I've got the cream, Worcestershire sauce, cognac, uh, good one and a half tablespoons of uh, chopped shallots, um, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, butter, and the optional uh, demi-glace, which uh, of course I made myself. Um, and uh, I've got a lighter standing by, <laughs> ready to flambe the cognac. And uh, as soon as the time goes by and the pan gets warm, we'll begin. The pan gets up to about 300 Fahrenheit, Celsius. Um, put this meat 
on it, oil side down. And of course, if you're using a different cut, <laughs> it would have held together better. This is this is the piece that I got. You know, Russian butchery not always the best. And uh, just to show you, I've got some seasoning left over on this plate. That's just fine. If you're making another one, of course, all the easier. Okay, so this has got to sit here and brown um, for a good uh, two and a half minutes, three minutes, something like that. The heat on the stove is uh, just over seven, about seven and a half out of ten. It's been two minutes now by the clock. I'm adding the butter to the pan. I'm going to really cook this steak well on this side first. Now that the butter is starting to melt, I'm going to add shallots. Now you can see it's got good browning on this side. The butter's uh, holding it together. Now I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce. And then the cognac. And the cognac is going to go over the top of the steak. And then I'm going to flambe it. Stand back when you do this. Well, in reality, the steak is almost cooked at this point. You're just going to give it like another uh, 30 seconds. Because it was, it was pounded and it was a fairly thin piece of meat. <laughs> pieces of meat the way it is now. We're going to have to fix this back together on the plate when we plate it up because <laughs> it uh, it came apart a little bit. It's not not an unusual thing. It's not a problem. Okay, I, I gave it just another minute here. We're going to move it over to a plate here to hold. <laughs> like I said, we'll, we'll fix this up later. And now we can add some demi glass. If you don't have this, you can add beef stock, or you can add water, and some cream, and the dried parsley. And I'm actually turning the heat way down now. It's going down from a seven and a half to about three. I just want to thicken this up a little bit. In fact, actually, I'm going to turn the heat off completely because it's it's got enough residual heat there. This is going to thicken up without any more serious cooking. Okay, we're we're actually about ready to plate. By the way, use heavy cream for this. Don't use light cream, or it will will come together nicely. Okay, this is this is ready to plate now. If you want to know more about my adventures as a chef around the world and have some great laughs along the way, be sure to check out the video tour of my book, 40 Years in One Night. It's up on YouTube right now. Click the link. If you like my videos, look for my cookbook, now available through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other internet bookseller sites. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology. Available through Amazon online.